Your Excellency Joseph Biden, President of the United States of America, Your Excellency's Heads of State and Government, co-chairing the 2023 Summit for Democracy. Distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, I feel greatly honored on behalf of the government and the people of the United Republic of Tanzania to be invited to participate in this Summit for Democracy that is being co-chaired by the United States of America, Costa Rica, the Netherlands, Republic of Korea, and our brotherly neighbor, the Republic of Zambia. I wish to commend His Excellency President Biden and his administration for continuous championing democracy, human rights, good governance, and rule of law around the world. Tanzania welcomes this summit, which avails us an opportunity to review the pledges made in the 2021 summit on how to strengthen democracy, promote respect for human rights, and uphold, uphold good governance in our countries. Your Excellencies, the founder of our nation realized the importance of democracy a long time ago, that the people must make the decisions about their own future through democratic procedures, that leadership cannot replace democracy. It must be part of democracy. So they embrace it even during a one-party system. The decision to embrace multi-party democracy in 1992, though unpopular at that time, was a necessary undertaking for the government. Since then, Tanzania has successfully conducted a total of six multi-party general elections, with the latest being held in 2020. Currently, like many other countries, our country is working hard to strengthen, refine, and consolidate its democracy so that it meets the aspirations of its people and the world at large. Your Excellencies, since March 2021, the government has embarked on an ambitious but necessary mission to continue strengthening our democracy. In December 2021, we began intensive consultation with stakeholders on the future of multi-party democracy in Tanzania. The task force was established to look into the matter and came up with the recommendations on how best to achieve that objective. Among the recommendations are reforming the legislation on national elections and political parties, as well as reviewing the constitution, which aimed at creating a conducive environment for free and fair election. I can gladly inform you that our government is already working on and implementing some of those recommendations. For instance, the government is already working on amending the electoral laws. Similarly, a ban on political rallies and meetings has been lifted in January this year, just as we did previously with the reopening of the banned media outlets. Political reconciliation is also underway under my four hours agenda, which stood for reconciliation, resilience, reforms, and rebuilding. I've made it clear to my fellow citizens that building democracy is everyone's responsibility, regardless of their political ideologies. Your Excellencies, democracy can only thrive where human rights are respected and rule of law is observed. Our government has then given high priority the promotion of human rights in the country and restrictions of the enjoyment of human rights have been removed. The government has also launched a three-year legal aid campaign to ensure access to justice for all in Tanzania. Equally important, the government has set up a commission for reviewing the criminal justice systems whose recommendations will undoubtedly improve the dispensation of justice in the country. At the same time, we are intensifying the fight on corruption and enhancing transparency and accountability. While undertaking these efforts at home, Tanzania is also championing democratic values with the East African community, the Southern African Development Community, and the African Union, and with the international community system as well. In that connection, 
I would like to assure this gathering that the United Republic of Tanzania will continue supporting democracy, human rights, and good governance at home and abroad. And we are looking into the issue of returning to the open government partnership at the earliest opportunity. Your Excellencies, in conclusion, once again, thank you very much for availing me this opportunity to share my message with the Summit for Democracy 2023. I believe this community of democracies can and must provide solutions to our common challenges, since our diversity is one aspect of our important and enduring strength. Together, let's make this world a better place. I thank you very much for your attention.